the first game jitters are gone now Dick both of these teams are looking to settle into their comfort zone in this second round matchup between the Northwestern State Demons and the Auburn Tigers it's showtime baby let's skip the intros and get this one started you got it partner so without any further delay let's get this one started the Tigers are not facing one of their tougher opponents so what's the key in them not giving it away well for me the keys are these Number one, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Next, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. And lastly, be monsters on the boards. Don't be afraid to get tangled up. Crash the glass. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Oh, yes. Both teams looking to get things going here. He draws a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? to get it to the inside. He strips him clean. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. This just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. The small forward with the ball. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. The small forward gets the pass. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Number 21 is eager and excited to compete. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to show your emotions. Try to go inside. He's got a nice shot fake. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Well, some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Auburn had put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. There might be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Talk about the turnovers either. For two, they're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Robs him of the ball. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. They scored 14 in a row. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. He pump fakes. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. I tell you, great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Trying to feed inside. And he'll kick it back outside. Shoots from outside. He buries it. Dumps it in. Swanson fakes the shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. The 
it inside. On the outside. The power forward takes the pass. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. The point guard takes the feed. Shoots it way off target. Number 21 gets the ball. Number 32 with the fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. And the ball goes out of bounds. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Unloads a three. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Brad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Working it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Just too slow to stay with his man, Nick, and he picks up the foul. Well, two mistakes. Number one, he lets him get the ball in that deep. And number two, he doesn't have any footwork. and doesn't move and beat him to the spot. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. For the bucket. Auburn are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. He shoots from the top of the circle. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. They'll work it around the arc. Turns it over. They have to start making some crisper passes, Dick. Yeah, these guys are going after everything, Brad. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. That's 11 unanswered. ready to start again. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Set that screen away. It's the replay, please. pick top of the circle they work it around the perimeter goes up for two he nails the bucket there he is puts the ball loose tries for two and he scores it off the glass On the outside puts it up looking for contact he puts it in with contact and all and he'll kick it back outside from the top of the key he kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper boy that was beautiful that was really a nonchalant pass Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Now they work it around the perimeter. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Intercepted. 
Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. This is what you're supposed to do down low, go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 on how to explode to the goal. Entry pass in the paint. Up and in. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. On the dribble, gives it up. A little frustration right there. He hammers it home. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Kicks it out. He's got an open look for the shot. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. Puts it on the floor and up and under. We got a lopsided game so far, Dick. You've got to be prepared mentally and physically right from the start. You can't afford to give up these big early leads. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Bob, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. McDermott in the paint for the bucket. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. With the fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. He goes with a baby hook. And he missed. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. He shoots from the angle. Off the rim and no good. Look at that spacing. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. He shoots from left of the circle. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Double team now, bad angle. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines. It looks like the losing team is starting to get a little bit anxious. Their coaches are reminding them just to relax. My observation is it looks like these bright lights have gotten the best of this team so far in the first half. Thanks, Aaron. On the outside. Now the high screen. They work it around the perimeter. He launches the bomb. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Up and in 
inside. Top of the circle. He gets it to go. And one too many dribbles and a steal for two. Scorches the net. That's a 7 nothing run. The crowd continues to chant. It really is something, isn't it? Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. High post screen. Going to use it. Gets it to go. On the dribble. Get I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I've got a great spin move to the basket. Auburn are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Transition opportunity coming up. Trying to draw some contact. They're working around the arc. And he'll kick it back outside. He does the sweet fake shot. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. Gave it up. Turnaround jumper. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball goes out of play. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Looking to move it around the perimeter. He attempts the three. There was no doubt about that one. McDermott's inferior play is really affecting his composure now. Well, he knows he's not getting it done. And emotionally, it's bringing him down. Goes up for two. Looking for a good shot. Tries a three. Way off target. He takes it away. Tries for two. Sinks it. Gave it up. With anticipation defensively. Looking for a good shot on the inside. Steal. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential to the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Get that sucker. 
kick her out of the game, man. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. For the bucket. Up and in. Here's another look at the play. There they come with a double team to stop it. He takes a three. It sticks. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. On the dribble, gives it up. Tough to pressure this kid. He's got great handle, man. And I love the way he's always looking up the court. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. He throws it up from downtown. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Jumped in front to take it away. Two for one opportunity. Nice fake. He looks for the bomb. Goes. Shot clock is dead. Look at that spacing. There's the trap. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Got it. At the half, the Demon trail by 37. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Had an awesome first half shooting the ball, Dick. Can we expect more of that in the second half, you think? Hey, with the composure they're showing on the floor, Brad, I wouldn't doubt it. This is a very methodical team. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. away with it. Here they go into transition. For the bucket. He nails the shot. In the paint. Takes it off him. Good fake. There's the fake. Jump hook from the low block. They still don't score. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Looking for contact. Finger roll. 
Now the kick out. He dials long distance. That's good. Fakes a jumper. Up fake. For the deuce. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul called there. I think a good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Double team now. Bad angle. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. He puts it up. Tickles a twine. The power forward takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. Doesn't go. He lets it fly. Knocks it down. On the dribble, gives it up. Pushing up basketball. Coleman makes a great move to draw the foul. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Second shot is good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gave it up. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Dude. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Steps to the line for the first time. Good. The Tigers are ahead by 43. The ball goes out of bounds. Tempo the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. The shot from the baseline. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. The power forward receives the pass. Oh, what a strip, Red. Working around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. They're working around the perimeter. York draws the personal. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, locking shots, altering shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. 
first one, good. He misses the second shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Nice shot. Picked off. The defender's doing a great job of applying wall pressure. And a momentary look from three-point land. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Great defensive play, anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He can't miss. Finish up man's feeling it, man. Great play to take that to the basket. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action. There's the pick. There's the roll. Goes up for two. He made great use of the screen to put up an easy score. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle bit. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Yes! The Demons are behind by 39. Stolen ball. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. Now they work it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. York handles the feed. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Sets the screen for his teammate. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. Looking for a good shot. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. McDermott makes a great move to draw the foul. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, it's obvious their backs are against the wall. It's going to take a lot of fight and desire to get back into this one. Defensive stops are the words that come to mind, and without them, they just don't have a chance. Gets his second. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Picks off the pass. The power forward handles the pass. Nick, look at the number of points off turnover. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Poe receives the ball. He shoots from right of the circle. He posterized him. 
the Demons are behind by 43. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Fakes it. From right in the circle, off the rim and no good. He unloads, goes in. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Here's a flash from the post up high. Step out on that screener. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For two. Looks like only a miracle can salvage this one, Dick. I'd have to agree with your partner. Time's running out. McDermott, subpar performance is just destroying his confidence. Brad, he's in what many people call a funk. Emotionally, he's got to turn things around. Looking for a screen on top and got it. He shows the sweet touch. The Tigers lead by 44. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Stolen away. Moving it around the perimeter. The fake gave it up from three-point territory. He gets it to go. Set that screen away. Robs him of the ball. This should be an easy bucket. Lane pounded it. That layup will count for two, plus the harm. Hey, he sized the defender up and protected the ball, going in for the layup. Boy, was that beautiful. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Let's see the replay on that one. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle and they also have the good entry from the wing. The Tigers have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Fakes the shot. Got the high pick. 
And the ball goes out of bounds. Got a man in high post. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Wait a minute. Let's replay that one. to the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries for two. the outside jumper. There was no doubt about that one. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball, and let him try to beat us. It's good. No doubt. Accepts it. Full court pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. For the deuce. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. Northwestern State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, twenty points, it doesn't matter. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special mark, feeding the post. High post screen. So effective that screen. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. They work it around the perimeter. He pump fakes. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Picked out of the air. For two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little club right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Looking for a good shot. Got a wide open look. Steals a pass. Up and inside. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Now on the break for the bucket. That's good. Oh, 
Kicked off. The ball goes out of play. Tries for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? He pulls the trigger. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Great defense. Stop the ball. Somebody stop the ball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Got some room. He attempts the trifecta. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Working it around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Entry pass in the paint. Hammers it down. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job. Not allowed. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Here they come now on a turnover. He comes away with it. Jump hook from the low block. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Now they work it around the perimeter. Up and inside! He goes with a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball in deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Gets it back out. It takes some pride on the defensive end. He gets that one to fall. Shot clock is dead. Gave it up. Kicks off the lazy pass. For the deuce. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Moving it around the perimeter. Dick, I think the better team won, we can say that. And uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But, you know, you got to win it and keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. the State Farm drive of the game. I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. The Tigers graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.